It's Chloe from Wondershare for more here to empower your inner video creator. Are you inspired by the spooky shadow effect that we created earlier for Halloween? It could make a cool theme for your next horror film. Today, I'm going to show you how to use masking to create this effect in Filmart 11. Let's go! First, let's get the footage we need for editing. We will need to film three shots with the same frame for this effect. Let's do lighting setup now. We will need one light. Position the light straight to the wall so we can have a clear shadow. Then we will figure out the frame that we want. Here, I'm making sure my shadow and I are not overlapping. I'll put a marker on the floor to ensure that I can perform at the same spot in different shots. Also, during the filming, make sure the camera is on a tripod and stays at the same point, so the frame doesn't change. I'm going to film the shadow clip first. I'll stand where the marker is and act like I'm texting on my phone. I'll grab a hammer and pretend that I'm going to attack someone. Then, I would duck down to mimic the shadow being dragged away. Now, let's film the texting clip. I will stand at the same point while texting for about 20 seconds. Then suddenly, walk away. Finally, I'll need a clip that only includes the background without me in the frame. It is called a clean plate. With all the clips we need, let's go to Firmware 11 and start editing. If you haven't already downloaded Firmware 11, Get started by going to fumoirdawanashare.com or click the link in the description. I'm going to place the texting video clip on the first video track of the timeline. Let's find the spot where I walk away and press M on the keyboard to set a marker here. Then let's place the shadow clip on the top. Make sure the shadow clip ends at the marker we made earlier. Move the playhead to the beginning of the shadow clip. Make a cut on the texting clip here and delete the previous part. The timing of shadow movement and my texting movement is synced up. Next, we will add a mask around the shadow. Double click the shadow clip. Go to the firmware setting window on the top left. Find the mask section and select the rectangle shape. Now, we can see the mask is applied. Adjust the size and position of the mask to only show the shadow on the wall. Then, adjust the blur strength to make a smooth transition on the edge. I will go to the Transitions window, find Dissolve, and drag and drop it at the end of the shadow clip. Adjust the length of the transition to about 5 frames. Now, when I play it back, I can see the real me and my crazy shadow are in the same frame. Although when I walk away, my real shadow pops up and mess up the effect. We can fix it easily by using the clean plate we filmed earlier to cover that part. Find the spot where I start to move. And place the clean plate clip here onto the third video track on the timeline. Go to the firmware setting window on the top left. Find the mask section and select the rectangle shape. Adjust the size and position of the mask to cover my moving shadow. Adjust the blur strength to make a smooth transition on the edge. Then, let's add a dissolve transition at the beginning of this clip. Adjust the length of the transition to about 12 frames. Finally, trim length of the clean plate clip to match the texting clip. Cool! Let's play it back and see how it looks. All right, now you know how to create a spooky shadow effect in Firmware 11. Halloween is just around the corner. Are you ready to create your spooky videos? Let us know your video ideas in the comments below or even better, drop a link to your video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!